In this video, I'm gonna show you how to back up your Xbox 360 DLC and title updates and use them on Xenia Canary. If you're an Xbox 360 fan, chances are you have bought numerous DLC packs or map packs throughout the years. With the systems getting older and reliability called into question, emulation is becoming an easy way to preserve all of your DLC games and anything you wanna do with the 360 that isn't backwards compatible. Thankfully, with Xenia Canary, the process to install DLC has become easier than ever, and backing it up off your console is super easy and doesn't even require any mods. So let's go ahead and dive in. So there are three prerequisites to getting your DLC and optionally title updates off of your Xbox if you wish to use them in Xenia. One, you need an Xbox 360. Two, you need to have the DLC and title updates on your hard drive. And three, you need a USB drive to copy them over to, to get them onto your PC. So any drives under two terabytes should work just fine. Back in 2015, Microsoft released a system update that gave this 360 compatibility with two terabyte drives. So it works really well. So just go ahead and get a USB drive of any variety plugged into your Xbox 360, whether it's an external thumb drive, hard drive, or SSD. And then just head over to the settings options here and go to system, storage, and now all of your Xbox 360 storage devices will be listed here, including the USB drive you just put in. Now, if your USB drive happens to be formatted into FAT32, the 360 should automatically populate it with all of its available storage, and it should be usable right off the bat. If it says unformatted, just press your Y button, and then format the drive and tell it yes. And make sure you have the right drive selected as to not delete any other external storage devices you may be using on your 360 because that would suck. And once the drive is ready for Xbox 360 use, it'll show up here with the amount of free space it has available. So now we're ready to begin moving over our DLC content. So navigate to the storage device you have your DLC stored in. So, so I like to keep a lot of my Xbox 360 stuff in this other external drive that I use. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to back up my Ace Combat 6 DLC. So why not? Let's go ahead and copy that over. All right, so there's all those copied over. Now for something a little bit bigger here, I'm just gonna copy over the DLC packs for Mass Effect 2. Now as for title updates, there are two different versions. The ones that would actually install to your hard drive like this, which you can then move over to your external drive. And I forgot you can't use the copy command. You have to actually use the move command for these ones. There we go. But those are the easier ones to back up. The other ones are stored in a cache directory and can only really be backed up on modded systems. But most Xbox 360 game updates are available online with a simple search, making it relatively easy to acquire them. But once you have everything backed up that you want to then use on Xenia, you can just turn off the Xbox and then move your USB drive over to PC. So now on your PC, you get that USB drive hooked up and if you can't see the content folder, you just need to open up your view settings and show hidden files and folders. Now inside of the content folder, you'll find this folder with a bunch of stuff in it. And then all the folders for anything that you might have copied over to your USB drive. So this is my Ace Combat 6 DLC, for example, here. Mass Effect 2's DLC. And then my title updates for Mass Effect 3. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these copied over to my computer real quick. All right, now that those are copied over, we just need to get Xenia Canary up and running real quick. So just doing a new download of the latest version here, Xenia Canary. So I'm just gonna load this one up and there we go. So to get our DLC and title updates installed, we just need to click on file, install content, Navigate to the directory where you have your content stored. So we're going to start with, I believe this is my Ace Combat 6 DLC. Here we go. And just tell it to open it all. And you'll see that it has created a new content folder in here. And inside you will find all of the DLC is extracted and placed into a proper folder for loading.
and there we go. So now we can just repeat that same process with all of our other content. So I'm gonna install my Mass Effect 2 DLCs now. Let's go ahead and grab all these and tell it to open. Now inside my content folder, we have the new Mass Effect 2 DLC folders that are in progress of installing. There we go. You can see it in real time that it's doing it. That's fun. So there we go. There's all my Mass Effect 2 DLC now installed into Xenia. And finally, some Mass Effect 3 uh, content updates. And there we go. And now just to make sure that my DLC for Ace Combat 6 is seeable, I've downloaded an Ace Combat 6 title update here. And I went ahead and found this one on archive.org. I really don't care about sharing title updates with all of you. So archive.org, Xbox 360 title updates, it has a huge selection of them. And you can go through and find ones for the games that you need. So anyway, just gonna get this Ace Combat 6 title update extracted. And then same deal, just gonna select that file to get it installed. And it's now in here with my Ace Combat DLC. Awesome. So only after realizing that both of my example games were terrible example games, uh, <laughs> and got, went ahead and got Halo 3 uh, copied over and all of, well, not all of its DLC, but two of its map packs and title update. So got those installed using the same method previously shown. And now you can see that at the bottom there of the menu, it says version 1.2. And if we go into a custom game and go to our map selection, you can see the DLC I installed for Cold Storage, Foundry, Rat's Nest, and Standoff. There we go. So those are the only two packs I installed and they're showing up perfectly. So just give it a go here. And there we go. Got a lot of shader stutter compilation going on for this one, that's for sure. But I'm enjoying a DLC map that I ripped straight from my Xbox on Xenia. So now for anyone interested in using this DLC content on the Xbox Series X and S version of Xenia for UWP. If you've previously followed my Xenia setup guide, you have moved your Xenia content folder to USB. So you can just access that folder. You'll find a content folder just like the one in the PC version. So you can just open it up and drag all of the contents right inside and all of these DLC items and title updates will be applied to your games on Xbox Series X and S as well. This is by far the easiest way of getting it installed because you don't have to manually make any folders or do any guesswork or manual extractions. The program takes care of it all and you just drag and drop. And there we go, now that that's copied over, gonna give it a quick test on my Series S. So here we are over on my Xbox Series S with Xenia Canary, Halo 3 loaded up and you can see that the title update has been applied, version 1.2. And then going into the custom game lobby here, a lot of shader compilation, gotta friggin' love it. It might, it might work, maybe not, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There we go. Anyway, map list. So we can see cold storage, foundry, um, what was it, rat's nest, and then standoff are all loaded up for the DLC. And there we have it, a way to back up Xbox 360 DLC to use in Xenia emulation on PC, Linux, or Xbox Series X and S. With Xenia Canary, the whole process is a lot more straightforward than it used to be, and it gets the job done pretty successfully. But thank you so much as always for watching, I hope this helps you get your 360 emulation projects up and running to your desires. Here at the end of the video, I do have a couple of huge favors to ask. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always come your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content directly to you. 
big, big, big shout out to all of our current backers. Just again, huge thank you for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going. You are the truest of champs. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.